A protective father says he never meant to shoot his daughter's boyfriend, but on July 31st of 2007, that's what happened. And now a young man sits paralyzed in a wheelchair while a father sits behind bars. Today, both men grapple with guilt and loss as their families turn to faith and hope. Two teens broke family rules and decided to spend time alone at this house in Vaughn, Arkansas. David Reed came home and discovered his daughter's boyfriend hiding in her bedroom closet. David beat the 19-year-old Austin Guzman with a pool stick and then fired shots through the bedroom door. <laughs> Where is your emergency? My boyfriend has been shot. Your boyfriend has been shot? Yes. Okay, who shot him? My dad. Almost three years later, David Reed is serving time. Austin is paralyzed and in a wheelchair. And now two families are dealing with heartache. I mean, you live with it every day. I mean, you know, you hate it. Like I told Austin, uh, if I could take my body parts out and exchange with him to where I would be there and he'd be up and walking, I would. He absolutely knows that he made, it, he made a mistake by going to get that gun. I was not trying to hit him with the gun. My sole purpose was to scare him only. That was my only and sole purpose with the gun. The Reed's daughter, Morgan, says everyone involved played a role in what happened. We've talked about this with my dad also. We all three feel that we all take a part in what happened. Because if we hadn't made the decision for him to come over, then my dad wouldn't have even been set off. And just like his girlfriend, Austin doesn't want David behind bars. I feel like any, any jail time at all would be too much. In fact, even as Austin lie in a hospital bed, he made his feelings clear. His father, Roger well, um, Guzman, says Austin had tubes down his throat, but still managed to communicate by scribbling a message. One of the things that he wrote on that piece of paper was, tell David I forgive him and tell him I'm sorry. And that really started the healing process for us as well, because you're, you're, you're looking at him and you're thinking, if he can forgive, then certainly I can forgive. And it is here at Calvary Tabernacle that both Morgan's family and Austin's family say they have found forgiveness through their faith. We go to church with these folks. We see them every day. Well, not every day, but as often as we have church and church activities, we see them. So we, they are still part of our family. But on Sunday mornings, at least one person is missing. David, a father and now a felon who sits in the Bitten County Jail serving a 22-year sentence for first-degree battery and a gun enhancement. Yeah, I've told the Guzmans, if I told them once, I've told them several times, look, I apologize, I hate it, you know. And, you know, and Austin has apologized to me. My daughter's apologized. On the faith side, like I said, I've forgiven David. But it's, uh, and I, I don't want to make the two equal, but when you speed and you're stopped by the officer, you get the traffic ticket, and you have to pay the traffic ticket. I know they're, they hurt like the rest of us hurt, but, you know, I'm not saying being in jail fixes everything, and I know that they want Austin, like I told them, I said, my goal is to see Austin get well and walk and be whole. I mean, I'm not naive. I know that this has really hurt two families. And while our suffering was early on with watching Austin go through therapy and all the heavy medication and all the different, we've gone through a lot of issues. Now with the sentencing, it's affecting their family. As for Austin, he has started therapy at a place called Victory Walk and says he's seen improvements. I've already had, um, muscle movement come back. I've had, I've had muscle control for a while. It's just building the muscle up. It takes a while. And he remains hopeful that he will walk again. I have leg braces that go on to about like right here and I can walk like that with a walker or I do crutches too. As Austin gets stronger physically, those around him work to do the same spiritually. Well, there are two families that have been torn apart here. They only have, you know, limited visitations, but oh shoot, it's, it's hell. It's murder. It's, it's so hard to 
uh, see them and because you're so used to having a hugging relationship. For Austin's father, much like everyone else. It was the worst thing that has ever happened in my life. There are good days and bad. You, you don't know until you come to that point where your faith is tested. Do I have enough faith? And there are days when I don't. And there are days when I have plenty. So you hope to balance that out. Faith Austin will walk again. And for the Reed family, Faith David will be set free before his sentence ends. And Faith, these two families will heal. Morgan Reed and Austin Guzman say they plan to marry after Morgan's father is set free, even if it takes 22 years. According to the prosecutor's office, David Reed will be eligible for parole in 2015.